lessons in life, waiting to die, not knowing that your life is a lie. Keep in mind not to trust what you see, because the truth is not always what it appears to be. Stop, mom, wait for me. Hey, how are you, Danielle? Mm, my parents like the name Danielle, so they decided to call me that. The weather is surprisingly warm today, huh? I know, it's making me weird. I think it's the pills you gave me. Just remember to take them regularly. You know that I care for you. You're such a good friend. Thanks for always looking out for me. Of course. I haven't seen you in a month, so I need to compensate for the time lost, right? Anyways, I thought you promised to bring your sister tonight. Yeah, she's right beside you. This is my good friend, Dr. Faust. He's a doctor and you can call him Dr. Faust. He's really cool. Hi there. Careful, what you doing? You almost sat on her. Way to make an impression. Right. Um, Accept my sincere apologies. I was lost in my thoughts. <laughs> and of course, I forgot to put on my glasses. As always. Please sit. May I ask you, what is this young lady's name? Uh, oh, sorry. She's a little shy. This is Bridget. Come on, Dr. Faust won't bite you. Dog. Stop being so rude to her. She came here just for you and now you can't even greet her with a simple hello? Uh, right. Sorry, Danielle. Bridget, I am not thinking straight today. Um, nice to finally meet you, Bridget. The weather is beautiful today. Right on. Why are people so weird? What is she talking about? The depression seems to get worse. Continuous deterioration of condition. Never mind, back to the topic. So, tell me more about your <laughs> relationship with Bridget. Oh, she's the most important person in my life. As I said, she's quite shy on strangers. She's caring and concerned about how I feel. She hugs me whenever I'm feeling down. I feel so lucky to have her as my sister. Shy, caring. Well, she seems rather special to you, isn't she? Of course. She definitely is as I am to her. She only opens up to me. It's comforting to know that someone trusts you and only you. Only opens up to you, only trusts you. Does your sister ever interact with anyone else? For example, will she trust me? Why would you want that? I am terribly sorry, but this is a very important call from my patient. Uh, please don't go anywhere. I will be right back. Okay, so this Dr. Faust guy, the caring, kind-hearted. What about him? Don't you like him? Correct me if I'm wrong, but you seem happy that someone is finally paying attention to us. Isn't that exciting? What are you implying? Ugh, nothing. Nothing. Ugh. It just reminded me of the times before.
Danny. Danny. Why do you always have terrible in class? You know, it's the terminal their grades and their behavior. Aggravates your teacher to no end. But Dad... This is too much. This is the third time your principal calling us. Third time. But I have ADHD and dyslexia. I'm the I don't care about your silly little make-believe disorders. They're lies that psychologists make so they can trick you innocent young school girls into paying them for psychologist services. <laughs> You are a disgrace to our family. Leave this house. You have plenty of foster relatives. We don't need you anymore. <laughs> Why? Everybody hates me. Even my own parents. The only people I thought I could trust. And now they've left me. I have nobody now. I'm all alone. Perhaps I should just die here. Don't cry. You still have me. No, you still have a place with the family. They said nothing about you. If you are not part of the family, neither am I. Dad made a terrible mistake. Don't talk to me about them. Do you remember what he did to me? To us? I'm so sorry. Th that's not why I mentioned it. I just... I know, how, I know exactly how you were feeling back then. It's not our fault. It's not our fault that he was too ignorant to realize that we needed help? That we were being left behind? Why can't it's you just let go of your past if it hurt you so much? <sighs> What's this? These doctors, they don't know what they're talking about. What just happened? Are you alright? It felt like one of those little earthquakes. What are those called, Bridget? Um, you mean a tremor. Exactly, a tremor. Anyway, did you feel that? It was so distracting. You can't tell me you didn't feel that. I'm not mad, am I? Tell me I'm not mad. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Calm down, Daniel. Breathe. Just breathe. You're freaking out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe. Slowly. Slowly. It's okay. I'm still here. You're right. Nothing happened. I'm just over-exaggerating. I must compose myself. Yes, you surely are. Now stop freaking out and look. You've attracted unwanted attention. Now everyone believes you've truly gone bonkers. Bonkers? 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 Nice. What will I ever do without you? Thanks to you, I have my entire life it's back good. together. Don't say that. You can do this without me. Even if I'm gone, you must stay strong without me. Without you? Where are you going? You can't leave. I cannot leave without you, Bridget. Why do you want to leave me? Do you hate me too? You're all that I have. You're the only thing I have left. Why do you want to go? I'm not leaving anytime soon, Daniel. And anyways, you have Faust, and he truly seems to like you. You mean much more to me than Faust does. You're my only sister. You've been here for me since the very beginning. You can't leave me. No, no, not ever. Promise me that you'll never leave me. I'll never leave you, Daniel. This is not a good time, Janet. As a professional psychiatrist, I don't answer personal calls. Sorry, Joe, but I thought you don't work on Sundays. <sighs> anyway, are you free tonight? Would you love to have dinner with me at the Sheraton? Janet, I am at work now. Did, did you call me just to ask this? Nothing, nothing. I'm just, how do I put it? I'm being very concerned about you, Joel. 
You know, every time I ask you out on a date, you always tell me you're too busy for me. Do you know how I feel? I cannot take this anymore. We need to talk. Janet, I am busy now. Can we not talk about this? Quit your job or run away with me. Forget about the cycles you have to deal with. Forget about the money. That is the least of your problems. Stay with me for the rest of your life. I do not call my clients that. They are humans, too. I pretend to be their friend because they need one. I love my job, but that doesn't mean you are not important. This, this is not an easy job, and I can't leave my patients whenever I want. So just let me be, at least for now. I'll never leave you, Daniel. I'm hungry. Where do you want to eat after saying goodbye to Dr. Faust? Now that I come to think about it, haven't you ever wondered why the food tastes the same all the time? We need to find somewhere different. Why, why don't we have a lunch here with Dr. Faust? Aren't we being intrusive? You are the one who said he's likable. Whatever. What are, you, what are you doing over there? You don't want to break anything and get Dr. Faust upset, do you? That's a boring name, don't you think, Dr. <sighs> Faust? Leave me alone. So, how is Danielle doing? I am fine, thank you. Don't you want to talk to me instead of her? Please, Danielle, don't be so cruel. Do you still have the nightmare dreams about your parents? Like those you told me about in our last meeting. What dreams? You never had any one of those. Don't imagine things that will only make you more upset. You've mistaken me for someone else. Please, Danielle, concentrate. I am only trying to help, remember? Well, well maybe I don't need your help. You were talking how you're just trying to help, but you're not helping at all. Whoa, Danielle, what's going on with you? What's wrong? Okay, we need to take a pause, all right? We are still friends, remember? I'm hungry, Bridget. I assume you're feeling better now, Danielle. Why don't we talk about your parents? I think it's time. No, stop that. You make things worse. You break her. Five years, and you haven't told me anything about what happened that day. Best friends don't keep secrets from each other, you know? Five years? No, no, no. Oh, you want to talk about secrets now? What do you both mean? What do you mean, Danielle? Why am I only making it worse? <laughs> look at me, Danielle, look at me. Just listen to me for once. Uh, I'm leaving, uh, all right? I'm leaving. I can't take this anymore. You two, how could you? Why are you toying with me? Please, Trying Daniel. to hide something from me, right? Right? Please, Daniel. You like Faust, don't you? You've got to hold it together. You can't lose this again this time. You've changed so much. I don't think I can trust you anymore. I've told you already. I'll never leave you. Unless you don't believe me. I don't want to see you hurt yourself again. Danielle, what's wrong? Oh. Nothing. I don't know. My whole world seems to be falling apart. Everything was alright yesterday. Why can't I ever stay happy? The sky, the sky will, will always be blue. blue. The water will always be white. 
the grass, the grass and, and trees will always be green. green. The, the universe, universe will always be infinite. infinite. These facts will always remain the same. same. And, and like so, so it's, it's true that. that no one will ever love me. I'll never leave you. I will 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 never leave you. I'll, I'll never leave you. Just promise me, promise that I will never be alone again. I'm not sure I can.